Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Xenogears. All right, um, let's take a peek through this door back here. Let's see what we've got. Hey, hey, are you the uh, boozer from the Thames? Everyone's gonna die. Booze, bring booze. No, I think you've had enough, sir. Hey, you. It's freezing in here. Can't you do something? This is not good for my complexion. Uh, no, sorry, I can't do much for you. Plenty of good men are dead now. What kind of doctor am I if I can't save people dying right in front of me? Why should an old man like me survive that? I do not know, and I don't remember what voice I used for you. A town without prisoners. How boring. But then again, the world itself is like a prison. I suppose you could say that. Let's go down here. You're not my dad! Lance! Oh my god! Young dolphin people! Hans, is that you? You... You're alive? I can't remember what voice I did for him. Yeah, you too. But if you're here, that means the Thames was... The Thames sank. The angels attacked. The Thames withstood the onslaught of Reapers, but was defenseless against those angels. Hardly anyone got out in time. They went down with the Thames. Well, wait a minute. What about the captain? He's okay, right? The captain said he'd watch the end of the Thames with his own eyes. Y you're kidding, right? That old guy died? No way. No, the captain is alive. He's the kind that never keels over. <laughs> uh, good times. Everyone's down, and they're looking... Yeah, and they're the only ones looking happy. Annoying, isn't it? Not really. Some flashy woman in Thames gave me a card game. Do you want to play? Uh, I think I'll pass for now. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, you can, uh, um... Get some more items. Uh, let me just take a look. I believe... If you beat her once, you get um, Emmer Jr. doll, which is Emeralda. Then you have to beat her five times in a row. Chicken! Yeah, indeed. Five times in a row, and you get an Ellie Jr. doll. Uh, I will probably do that, but probably not on screen. That will use copious amounts of save states. It hasn't been that long since my husband died. Please don't think I'm a loose woman. But it's because of this man that I... Okay, yes, yes. Okay, yes, yes. You can, you can stop that now, thank you. Alright, Hans. So what's happened with you lately? I didn't know you had a son. The kid who just left seemed pretty angry about something. I'm embarrassed you just saw that. I got married just before the Thames went down. Her name is Anna. She's my wife. She was saved by the Thames when the ships were attacked by Reapers. Unfortunately, that's when she lost her husband. Don't misunderstand me. It wasn't out of feeling sorry for her or anything like that. Or, well, perhaps it was. I just wanted to protect her, that's all. If you call that feeling sorry, then I suppose I don't mind. The captain teased me mercilessly. He said, What? A cold guy, cold guy like you seducing a widow? Just make sure the kid doesn't hate you. <laughs> I guess the captain was right. My stepson doesn't like me yet, but I'm hoping someday... I see. Boy, you've changed. Haha, <laughs> you've changed too, Faye. I don't know how to explain it, but... As for me, well... I don't know what it is. I guess I've always had someone protecting me. Hans. Faye, I believe... I believe that one day the captain will come down that stairway... Tap, tap, tapping with his cane... And he'll say... Hans, it looks like we'll get our hands on a priceless treasure. What kind of face is that? Oh, what kind of face is that? You don't believe me, huh? This time it's true, honest. Maybe someday. Hans, it looks like we'll get our hands on a priceless treasure. What kind of face is that? C -c -cap Captain! What's this shouting out, C -c Captain? Cut it out, you fool! Do, do you know how much I was worried about you? 
Ha! I've been telling you all along. Don't you get it? Now listen. Men! Of the sea! Never say die! <laughs> Woohoo! The captain al is alive! You are such a... Hans, this time it's true! It's an island with buried treasure. It's called Duneman Isle. An ancient hero defeated a monster there, and now legend has it his fabled sword rests there. What info do you have? Do you know where the place is? What about a ship? Don't know where it is. Don't have a ship. Don't worry with the details. Don't you know that attitude of yours is why that kid won't take to you? That's none of your business. Well, by the time that kid actually decides to like you, I'll have managed to get a new ship. Until then, give it all for your family, lad. Give your family the love they need while you still have the chance. <laughs> wait, 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 don't, don't go. Captain, Captain, wait, wait. What, how did I survive? Don't worry about those minor details. If you worry about such things, the kids will hate you just like they hate hey, Hans. <laughs> Alright, he's just going to say the same thing. Run down here. Go. Let's see what Hans says now. Jeez, when it comes to him. <laughs> I wish you were my dad. Can I call you dad? <laughs> That's a laugh. A walrus with a penguin for a son. Oh, they're penguins. I thought they were dolphins. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. I'm not a dolphin. I, I'm not... Whoop. <laughs> I'm not a penguin. I'm a dolphin. I'll uh, get it right eventually. Oh, Han Hans is a penguin. My dad is a dolphin, too. Uh, oops. Forget what I just said. I didn't mean to call him dad. Who would want a father like him? ha, 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 ha. Oh, Captain. Brings a tear to my eye that he's still alive. Truth Reflecting Mirror. Which do you wish to view? Let's view Phase Reflection. Whee! And you get that mirror is still around. You can play around with the... Uh, Oh, but I can't go up the stairs. Play around with your uh, poses and stuff like that. Alrighty. Well, I think we're done. That was very odd. I think we're done down there. Let's uh, hop over the counter there and go in this door. What do we have up here? Or down here, as the case may be. I do like what they did with these hallways, with the, uh... Um... It's kind of a shadow effect on some of them. Oh. There's someone down here. Whoa! There's nothing here. He's long gone already. But wow, to make a hole this big. Yeah, um... That, that was... That was kind of me. Heh <laughs> Uh... Is that a door there? Oh. I didn't know there was a... Oh, wow. I guess I wasn't supposed to have used this. I'm sorry I caused you so much trouble. Your little brother was really mad at me. He asked us whether we had hearts or not. I envy you having a brother with enough guts to be honest. Brother? I don't have a brother. I must be talking about Dan. This is the, uh... Carbon freezing chamber. It's actually kind of sad that that's still that still exists. I have a stupid son, you know. He used to fish for a living, but one day he said he saw a merman city on the seafloor. Since then, he hasn't gone out to sea. He's become a landlubber. We haven't seen him these past few years. I don't know what he's doing now. Hey, you have a rare stone there. Rare stone there too. Is it a mermaid's tear? They're tough to find. My son wore one as a good luck charm. I wonder if there is a girl out there fit to wear your stone. Wait, I thought this was a person that I talked to. He 
Is it not? Okay. I was pretty sure you, uh... Gave them, uh, uh, gave that person... I'm not even sure if that's a man or a woman. Um... The... Um... The Mermaid Tier 2 to get another item. Let me take a look. Do, 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 do. Maybe it's later. I don't know. I'll have to take a look around for that. Anyway. Yep. That's... That's the old prison. That's actually kind of a shame that that's still alive. So anyway, yeah, like I was saying, you, you see kind of a shadow effect uh, when you rotate these uh, um, corridors. It's pretty nice, I think. I was really impressed with that back in the day. Whoa. After losing our home in Kislev, we lost our home in Ave too. So we decided to stay here for a little while. But next time, I want to live somewhere that's green. I never thought I'd live here. I wanted to make my parents happy. a lot of cats. Is this part of... I don't remember this from uh, Shiva. Is this part of uh, Solera the Solaris City? Huh, I don't know. I wasn't planning on living here, but my son's family is with me. Oh, cat, you can get out of my way now. Thank you. It's tremendously lonely without cats. I don't know why, but Recently, families keep increasing. We had a hard time because my daughter begged us to take all the cats with us. I like this house because there are lots of cats. I... This isn't bad at all compared to the mil to military camp in the cat house. Oh. Oops. Be quiet. Sister, please take the children elsewhere. Sorry, I was looking around the room. You want the children to stand in the cold hallway? This is the warmest room. Why can't they stay here? We're having a very important meeting. They're disturbing us. Please don't get so upset. I really appreciate that you're trying to protect us. But you know those people are the only ones who can change our fate. Don't you? Maybe a few things we can do. But I've been a soldier all my life. I can't sit still as long as there are people to protect and enemies to fight. I'm prepared to protect everyone here. Oh, good for you. Good luck to you. I I will protect these people, so don't worry. Oh, good for you. I mean, this room looks uh, like Shiva, like a Shiva room. My grandma made this for my mom when she was a child. It's really warm. Oh, that's good. Her outfit is so cute, isn't it? I'm Yggdrasil at 10! Come on, catch me if you can! I missed what the other kid said. Come on, other kid. Hey, give my candy back! Oh, kids. I want to help people, but all I know how to do is fight. I had doubts about fighting before, but not about protecting the people here. Kids are all the same in Kislev, Ave, and Nissan. What is it? Can I do that too? Children are annoying, but they're the reason why I'm here. I want to see my mom and dad. This is the first time I've seen snow. It's so light and white, and a beautiful pattern appears in an instant. Oh, hey, hey, kids. I'm trying to talk to this other kid. A beautiful pattern appears for an instant, then it melts in my palm. It's amazing. If we had more weapons... 
you would have more weapons. That's that is a factual statement there. We gotta do what we can. Now more than ever, I feel as if each child is very important. Yeah, that's also true. We both no longer have anything to lose. Do as you wish. I hope you'll have help from heaven. Uh, I'll play with the sister. Really, how can we fight against an enemy like that? You think it's just going to sit there while we gather all of Ave's and Kislev's armies? Already. Well, enough with that room. I was pretty sure that we could change our uh, mermaid ring uh, tier for a mermaid ring. I'll figure it out off screen later. I think this is where I want to go. Okay, so, there are a number of side quests to do. As you can see, we're down there at the south end of the uh, map. Let's start off by heading over here. Ah, so glad to have the awesome flight music. Actually, let's uh, go into um, the Drossel and see what's up. Had a bit of a lock up there for a second. Alrighty. The map needs to be rewritten because of what's happened. Our maps are not much of a help anymore. You want to see the ship's chart? Yeah, show me. Alright. So we can see uh, items. Nortune is still a place that we can go. Um, that's a snowfield hideout. That's a drossel. That's Tara's house. So we can go there. Come on. Where is... There's Deus there. That's the Anima Relic Dungeon 2, and that's the Anima Relic Dungeon 1. So we can go back to those places. Um, kind of impressed that uh, it actually puts Tara's house on the map. So that's actually where, where we're going to uh, head to in a moment. Um, but there are actually two other places on the map that we will also be going. They are not actually on the map. Um... They are secret locations, although one of them is completely canonical. All I've heard is static since then. I hope people are still alive out there. Let's put more oomph into it! I'm finally getting used to being in the sky, but I shouldn't get too relaxed yet. Oh, sorry. I didn't realize that you were there. Want to hear some hot sounds that I've recorded? Ah, uh, no thanks. That's too bad. You could have seen the world between the static. I suppose I could have. The ship's missiles might not work on that monster. I suspect not. That Jericho is serious. I should put more oomph into it, too! Yes. Yes, you do that. Well, let's see what this guy has to say. If Sigurd passes away, I will... Rejustle 3 can fly now thanks to Shivat's technology, but... The operations have changed a little, so I've got to study them all over again. Want to see my notes? Uh, no, not right now. I can't wait until I become a full-fledged helmsman. Good for you, kid. Good for you. Although that wasn't a very kid-like voice, or young man-like voice. Ah, well. I don't think I want to talk to that person right now. I don't know if they have anything new to say, but... Um... Oh, yeah, we're gonna give it all we've got for the young master. Whoa! That... that... what? Uh... If only I wasn't wounded, I'd also be able to... What'd you do, bump your head on the ceiling? I'm not gonna talk to the doc the lady doctor, either. Sorry, I had to cough. Hey, where's Choo Choo? Choo Choo's not here. Let's go see if we can find Choo Choo. And take a look at our gears in the gear hanger. Ooh, we see no gear. 
monsters. Can I not? I thought I could look at them from down there. There's Anvari. There's uh, Fenrir. That's right. El Steer. Choo Choo. What are you doing there, Choo Choo? Elrin Mazuo. Crescens. Alright, let's see if we can get up to the top and talk to Choo Choo over here. What's going on, Choo Choo? Here, low down on gear. This is... Huh? Choo-choo? What in the world are you doing here? You don't need any maintenance work. You're in the way. Go eat some food and take a nap or something. <laughs> I'm exhausted, Choo. Since you're here, I'd like a massage. Just kidding. Ellie, she was so kind. I know I'm not the only one to miss her. I know Bart, Margie, Billy, Seton, Rico, Maria, Emeralda, and Faye all do too. Although they don't say it, I can feel it. Standing here, I remember her kind and gentle smile. Ellie will return, won't she? Thanks, Choo Choo. Thanks for trying to reduce all this tension in the air for me. I'll remember this. Anyway, Ellie's gotta be alive, right? Faye. Let's go back to the room. Margie seems worried. Seemed worried. Uh, uh, actually, I didn't talk to Margie. Oops. Okay, I'll come to you. I suppose I should have done that. Oh, well. That's the way it goes. Let's take a look at Xenogears from this angle. We have not done that with any of the new gears. Let's hear the lowdown on the gear. This is Xeno Gears, and this phase gear. Height 19.8 Charles, base weight 18.9 cons, full weight 21.4 cons when fully equipped. Weltall 2 is transformed after its contact with Zohar. Detailed specs cannot be ascertained by the measuring devices here. But then again, I wonder whether this gear has a limited ability to measure at all. It almost seems like it seems that this gear is stronger and strong gets stronger and stronger as Faye's mental powers increase. Anyhow, the engine seems to have been left in there from before, so it should require fuel as before. But it wouldn't surprise me if this thing doesn't actually need fuel anymore. Wouldn't that be nice? So you can view the back of uh, Xeno Gears. You can view Xenogears from the front. Kind of in shadow. One thing that I don't think I ever uh, showed is uh, you can actually rename your gears. Um, I'd completely forgotten that you could do this. So yeah, you could actually rename your gear if you want to. I'm not going to on any of them. But that's the thing I could have done. Actually, let's take a look at some of the others. Uh, let's see what they have to say about uh, the other gears. I have not looked at them since we got our new ones. Here's the lowdown on the gear. This is Anvari, the Young Master's gear. Height, 18.3 Charles, base weight, 15.2 cons, full weight, 19.1 cons, and fully equipped. It was created by two of the sages of Shiva, Balthazar and Melchior. They made it using the data of the, on the Omni gear left by Roni Fatima, an ancestor of the Young Master data obtained from Xenogear. Xenogear? It is a combination of the latest gear technology and nanotechnology, but the performance is the same as when it was an Omnigear. Even when it was found hidden in the underground in Nissan, Nissan, its basic weapon equip equipment was the whip. That must mean the young master's ancestors must have used whips and rods too. I guess it's in his blood, huh? So yeah, um... We had lost our uh, uh, Omni Gears, remember? Uh, the Anima Relics were taken. But, uh. Balthazar, Balthazar and Melchior were able to recreate them. Quite handy. 
Let's hear the lowdown of the year. This is Fenrir, Dr. Seton Azuki's deer gear. Height, 18.6 Charles, base weight, 17.2 cons, full weight, 20.4 cons, when fully equipped. It was created by two of the sages of sheep. Uh, okay, that's the same thing. Do, 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 do. Fenril? Brought from Sol Solalis? Oh, game. Uh, clearly no one checked this text. The default equipment is a sword, which seems to be the doctor's weapon of choice. Fenril. Solalis. Oh, Solalis. <laughs> oh, and the reason you don't see uh, Siebzen is because it's basically riding on top of the ship. It's too big to fit in here, apparently. This is Steer. It is Rico's gear. Height 19.2 Charles. Base weight 22.2 cons. Full weight 26.7 cons. Like the other Omni Gears, it was at one point an animal relic absorbed by Deus and deactivated. However, using the data taken from Xenogears as a base... Yeah. Next to that, its capabilities have increased compared to the prior version. Its standard weapon is the same as it was on before its reconstruction. It's not a whole lot of information there, but okay. Now, what do you have to say about Renmazuo? Let's hear the lowdown on the gear. This is Billy's gear. Height, 18.8 .8 Charl. Oh, it's not pluralized there. <laughs> Base weight, 14.9 cons. Full weight, 19.3 cons. Like the other Omni Gears, it was at one point an anima relic that was absorbed by Deus and thus deactivated. However, using the data taken from Xenogears as blah blah blah. Thanks to that, its capabilities have increased compared to the prior version. Standard weapon is the same as before its reconstruction. Billy's father's buntline can can still be used too. I need to figure out why that did no damage against Hammer, because that should have been a good weapon against him. Ah oh, well, I'll figure it out eventually. Let's hear the lowdown of the year. Crescens, it's Emeraldus gear. Height fifteen point four, Charles. Base weight 9 point... Wow, 9.7. That's really what light. 9.7 cons, full weight 13.3 cons. This gear's controls are quite unique. The colony of nanomachines from Elmeraldo's body physically merges with the gear for direct control. Theoretically, this gear shouldn't require repairs, but it seems they don't try to repair anything except Emeraldo herself. So we're left with no other choice but to have to maintain the gear. The surface hovering and flight capabilities are quite impressive. Let's view the gear from the front. Ah. That is one of my favorite gears. It is definitely one of my favorite gears. One of the best designs in the game. Alright, let's see if they sell a sword here. Um, I don't think they do. I think I'm going to have to head to one of the Anima Relic dungeons to get that. But, uh... Let's see. Let's see if they have any new equipment. If something should happen, I'll go too. That's the spirit of Yggdrasil gear troops. What do you want to do with your gear? Let's see. Oh, extra armor plus seven. That's, um... Not that good. Uh, keep a note here. Um, there's an A charger here that we could buy. Uh, charge restores 50 fuel. Normal charge restores 30. Seems pretty good, right? Oh, just wait. Just wait. Thor G-Whip? Uh, that's worse, so I don't want to get any of that. I got plenty of ammo. Engine. They do have new engines. They do have new frames. I think I might have... Oops. I bought a lot of this stuff already. Um, I don't really have new, uh, armor, though. Z-Alloy for Zeta Gundam and RX for Gundam. <laughs> Oops. No. Wrong button. 
Alright, so the the reason why I'm not doing a whole lot of tuning up for uh, our gears is because there is another gear shop that we're going to visit. But first things first, let's go change our party around. Hey, hey, choo choo. I may have been getting in everyone's way up to up to now. But I can't stand you. But I can't stand to Ugh. I can't stand to think Faye and all his friends may perish away like us. I'm going to fight so that this kind of thing never happens to anyone again. You're the only ones who can save us. We're counting on you. Young Master, you better not die. Promise me. Of course, I'm not going to die. Quit saying such weird stuff. Sorry. Yeah, you're right. You'll make it back. When you come back, I'm going to... Well, I just thought... Maybe I could be closer to you, you know? Hey, whoa, quit it! Do you know what you're saying? <laughs> Just kidding. Young Master, you're all panicked now. Hmm. <laughs> Change party members? Yes, indeed. I don't think I quite got her voice right. Oh, well. I'll put Emerald in the party. I may not take Emeralda into um, some of these subquests, but there is a subquest that we, or a side quest that we must take her on. I thought Ramses was around here somewhere. Oh, hey, Billy. It was a long journey, but what we did was not in vain. Let's prove it. Indeed. It appears the final hour is approaching. If need be, this mason will be. We'll also take up arms and come to your aid. I may be of service. Let's see what do we have. What do we need? Anything? No. I should probably actually sell some of these aqua souls. I'm never going to use them. Nah, good. I'm actually going to run this episode long just so that I can get through some of the uh, uh, little things that I want to get through. See if he has any new uh, weapons and equipment. Uh, okay, he's equipped with that. Got plenty of that ammo. All, plenty of all of that ammo. He does have e large ether stones, which is nice. Um, but, okay. Nothing there, no one there. Maybe someone's in one of these rooms. Maybe uh, Ramses is in one of these rooms. Oh, hey. The bonds between my father and I can't be broken. Indeed. I forgot you were in there. Nope. Rico's in here. I'll never forget... Forgive what they did to him. He did nothing wrong. Yeah, you fight for Hammer, man. Alright, let's see if there's... Uh... I'm not going to talk to anyone here, because I'm pretty sure they say the same thing. Hi, doggy. Yep, okay. I was just checking to see if there was anyone new. There isn't. Alright, let's go, uh... Let's go visit the uh, um, Anima Relic dungeon that's uh, pretty close to us right now. Uh, specifically so that... I, oh, that's right. I'm gonna go in here. I don't know why I was going to climb up the ladder. Because I need to go buy a sword. Kind of sucks but I that I have to do that, but uh, I do. Deus integrated with Zohar and awoke. But we found out Deus is in the center of the giant structure created out of the fallen Merkava. The only way we can think think of to destroy Deus is to penetrate into there and make our way to the center. That structure used to be Merkava itself, but we must assume that the inside has changed significant, significantly. 
We don't know what dangers await inside of there. Please be very careful. Yeah, thanks, Sigurd. Let me take care of it. I will destroy Deus, even if it costs me everything I have. Hey, are you sure about this? Bart? I know what you must be thinking now. If you destroy Deus, the proliferation of the nanomachines that are out of out to turn this planet in itself into a weapon will stop. But if you end up losing Ellie, who is united with Deus for that very purpose, then what good will it be? But... That's right, Faye. She's our friend who's been through a lot with us, too. I think that saving a dear friend is just as important as protecting our planet or saving the world. I think Spock would disagree with you. What better re reason is there to fight? If you can't even save your friends, then how could you save the whole the world? Uh, not quite. Yeah, Sig's right. Don't you ever give up, Faye, no matter what. You're the only one who can release Ellie from Deus' spell. But we'll give you as much backup as we can. So, thanks a lot, Bart. Sigurd, I won't give up. You volunteered to fight for the young master and the rest of us. So it's our turn to fight for you and Ellie. Let's go, Faye. To gain true freedom. Shall we launch the Drossel? Go ahead. Yeah, I, I mean... Saving Ellie will will definitely be a... Oh, I hit the wrong button again. Um, is definitely a major goal, but eh, I, I think that saving the world is kind of a little smidgen more important, guys. Uh, you know, I mean, it's kind of like, you know, if I were able to save Ellie but not save the world, then what would be the point of it all? Okay, I believe it is around here. Oh, game. I was just trying to... Oh. Well? No, you don't have any special options, that's right. Ether machine... Have a firestorm. How much damage is this gonna do? Let's see. Not as much as I would have liked. Yeah, see, only about as much damage as he does with his weapon. That's kind of crappy. Definitely gonna have to. What? Suful gear. Ooh. All right, just attack. And a miss! Oh! Not nice. There we go. Smidgen of money. Come on, where is it? Where is it? There we go. Anima Relic 1. That's what I wanted. Yes, I want to buy stuff. Buy, not parts, weapons, Yamame sword. I should not have sold them earlier when I got them. Because I completely forgot. I mean, I, I didn't forget about the the upcoming part, but I did forget that um, you needed to unequip the uh, sword you've got equipped in order to get this part. But let's uh, head back to the Snowfield hideout. Where is it? There it is. Snowfield hideout. Alrighty, where... There we go, that's what I wanted. Through here. Emeralda's just standing up there. <laughs> she was just standing there. You guys go down there, it's fine. Oh, I'll wait up here. Alright, not that one. Who the hell is that guy? Actually, I need to... I didn't miss out on this part, did I?
Oh, that's that's right. He's over here. My mistake. Yep. 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 I'll bring you a nifty sword. I got a nifty sword right here. It's not equipped. What? Hey. Um... Oh, because I equipped the wrong thing. I'm stupid. That's what I want to do. There we go. Dirty, dirty, dirty. Yes, yes. I have enough guts. I, I have a. I have. I now I really do have the sword. Come on. Yep. Oh, the kitchen. You sure have a novel sword. Looks interesting. Let me take a peek. I don't think that's quite how you make swords there, buddy. This came out great. It was like turning plowshares into a sword. But it wasn't plowshares before. Use the sword and make Deus and his legions pay. Kishin's sword was enhanced. Received Kishin sword. Let's see how good that is. It's probably only like uh, 10 points better. Something like that. Holy crap! Oh, that's better. So much better. Yeah. Yeah, so definitely have another gear sword around with you when you uh, come to this point. That way you will also save 13,000 13, uh, G. Like, I didn't. So you won't have to go buy another one. All right. Anyway, um, we'll pick it up in the next episode. I'm gonna, uh, we'll pick it up outside of Tara's house. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can find a battle there first, and uh, then we will go into his house and see what's up. See you in the next.